measurements we are sorry that i'm on the ground <laughs> doing this tutorial so the measurement that we are going to use is length is going to be 25 so we are okay 25 minus 2 inches for the skirt band which will give us the 23 so from here i'm going to measure 23 down so here will be our 23 so here 23 then 23 plus 2 inches for seam allowance and also for folding so the waist that we are using for this is uh the waist is that why the hip is 40. so but first and foremost we have to find the height of the the length of the waist then from the waist to the hip mine is uh, mine is nine minus two inches see how i do i minus two inches from this measurement starting from my starting point and nine is here so here will become my hip minus two which will give me nine so my lower hip minus 2 is 13 I always measure my lower hip so that it will give me a perfect shape so this now become my main hip and this one becomes my of my lower hip this one is the lower hip then what we are going to do now is to divide we are using stretchy material so there is no need act, act, um, adding and there is no need adding any that allowance so 30 divided by 4 we give us 4 points and 7.5 so from here remember that here is going to be on fold when marking it on your on your material so 7.5 which is here 7.5 then my lower hip my main hip is uh, 40 divided by 4 which will give me 10 so and my length since it's pencil skirt will be 10 minus 1 inch which will give me 9 so I'm going to mark out or to connect my dot line. So from here to here, then from here I'm going to place my ruler. My remember that this is where it stopped. So I'm going to place my ruler like this and then connect connect from here down here so that is it guys so here is supposed to be a straight line so this is the front panel of my pencil skirt the front the front panel this is the center front this is the waist so here i'm going to add my seam allowance which is half an inch up here and i'm not going to put allowance here also because it's a stretching material i want it to be fitted so i'm going to subtract one inch away from here when sewing because it's a stretchy material also so when sewing a stretchy material there is no need you putting seam allowance because of it will not be all that fitted so from the main that's where i achieved this my that so i'm going to cut out and from here i'm going to cut my back panel
is chart. According to my official body size chart, this skirt is size 10. This is size 10 in my official size chart, size 10. So this is size 10. And I'm going to use, okay, this is the center front. So this is the hip, the lower hip and the waist. So I'm going to use this now to achieve the, the center back, achieve the back panel look. Guys, I extended the length of this um, pattern, the center, uh, the back panel. So I'm making sure that everything is on the same line. Okay, everything is on the same line. But when doing this, always use your pin or your silo tape. So I'm going to mark out. Um, pencil skirt at the back so that your butt will show. Remember that this is my main hip. This is the lower hip. The lower hip. So, and this is the skirt zip. I'm going to minus half inch from here because I'm going to sew in with one. I'm going to sew in with half inch. So I'm going to sew in with half an inch. So what I will do, remember here will also be half an inch just to achieve your curve. Because your waist is tiny. So from here, I'm going to mark to connect to my main hip. So from this main tip, I'm also going to connect so that it will give me that perfect box that I'm looking for. So that is it guys. So I'm going to cut everything all out. So here is the center back, always label. So I'm going to be adding zip allowance to this. So I'm going to add one inch. One inch. So guys, here is the trick to have a fitted. So guys, well, um, so guys, um, I have pinned this fabric, this pattern on the fabric. Remember that this is the center front and it's supposed to be on fold. So there is, there you don't have to leave any space for dividing it at the center. So this is the waist. This is the the down part, the folding side. I decided to use the most stretchiest part. Of this that here this edge is the most stretchiest part so because um when sewing a stretchy material use the most stretchiest part of the most stretchy parts for you to achieve what you want and for it to fit the exact body type you are working you are working with So concerning the back panel, here will be cut out because it's going to be two. So this skirt panel will have to be three. The front, then the two center, the two center back. So I have pinned everything for easy cutting, and I'm going to start cutting out. So guys, I knot the upper part of this thing, that's the waist side, 
then I not the zip side for easy access so I will know which side is the wrong side and which one is the right side so here is the right side of the fabric and then here is the wrong side of the fabric so I'm going to mark the two sides so to make sure that I'm on the right side or you can use your seam guard so remember that this is the zip line but I know what I'm doing I'm going to lose lose it don't stretch don't stretch your don't stretch your material while sewing or another option is for you to mark your half inch half inch I have marked out all my linings like the stitches that I'm, I'm going to make the side seam is going to be one inch also how neat the seam how neat my seams are always remove excess trade so do you see how perfect the seam is with one stitch like one straight stitch so so guys I'm fixing so guys I'm fixing the side strap of the skates 